everyone, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro tracking the tropics for you right here in the Fox 35 Storm Center. All eyes are on the one tropical wave that we're monitoring out in the Atlantic. You can see the yellow X on your screen. It's an area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. But as we head into the next seven days, we could actually be seeing that tropical wave have a 30% chance for further development. That's going to be late this week into the weekend in the area that is shaded in yellow that you see on your screen. So I want to show you one of our forecast models and that's going to be seen that the area that we're monitoring is going to be uh, that area that's shaded in yellow and orange on the screen right now and eventually it's going to be starting to curve off to the north and west and this particular model and latest model run actually having it move off to the north and stay away from us here in the United States but again we are still several days away so this track and this forecast modeling is likely going to change. Do you want to let you know? Next name on the list would be Emily. Then we have Franklin, Gert, and Harold are all the next names on the list. Saharan dust does continue to make its way off the west coast of Africa. You can see that it is a bit splotchy in some spots, but nonetheless, when we do see that dust present, that does keep any tropical activity down where we are seeing the dust in the Atlantic. So always remember to depend on the Fox 35 storm team. We're going to continue to update you on the tropics the entire hurricane season. I'm Fox 35 storm team meteorologist Allison Gargaro. Have a great rest of your day.